All right, guys, there's been a little issues with Windows 10 and getting NR 2003 to run. So this is, um, I've already turned everything off. I was going to go through the process again for you guys so you can see um, how I was able to get NR 2003 to work. Now, over the years, they have changed a lot between going from Windows 7 to 8, 8.1, and then finally 10. It used to be you can enter in a code into what is called Command Prompt, and that would immediately turn it off. So you would just type in CMD and it would pop right up and you have command prop. Run as administrator and then you'd enter it in the code, which is in an older video you can see, and that would turn off DEP. There is an issue now on Windows 10 where you have to disable secure boot policy. In my previous video in the description, it shows you how to disable secure boot policy, but it has changed for Windows 10 from Windows 8 and 8.1 so I'm going to show you in the new way on how I am using it to turn it off now you have to go through a couple different programs and there's actually a new version of command prompt that is in Windows 10 from the factory called PowerShell and what you do is you're going to go to the new start icon you're going to right click it and it'll open PowerShell and this is going to be the new program we use and it takes codes in differently I think that this one is a lot um, more useful than Command Prompt as far as what we are doing with it. There are two different programs, so obviously there's two different uses for them. And then obviously there are different codes for it. So the first thing we're going to do is disable secure boot policy. So what you're going to need to search down here in the type bar is um, advance restart. Correction, you're actually going to go into an open settings, so hit the start menu. Hit the little gear icon for settings, and it should bring up the Windows settings. I am recording this actually like this because it involves multiple PC restarts, and it always screwed up whatever software I use. So if you actually have a recommendation, you go ahead and let me know. So within the Windows settings, go ahead and type in advance. Whoops, I spelled it wrong. Or I am like keeping this steady while I'm doing this. Change advanced startup options should pop up. If not, go ahead and type that in. Uh, keep in mind this may change within different versions of Windows. If you're giving me a problem, go ahead and drop a comment. I'll try to comment and help you out with it. So it'll bring up this. And this depend depend computer to computer. Um, I am using a Lenovo, so it's going to have a different restart um, option. It's going to be an entirely different page, but it will mostly always involve the boot process. So um, go ahead and hit Advanced Restart. So right here you have Advanced Setup, and then hit Restart Now. I'll go ahead and restart the computer. Go ahead and wait, let everything turn off. If not, just hit restart anyway. Just be careful, we got some programs on, you may lose some settings. All right, so this is now gonna pop up. You're gonna wanna go ahead and go down to Troubleshoot and hit enter. From there, it's gonna bring up Advanced Options. Go ahead and enter into Advanced Options. Now you're gonna wanna go into the firmware settings right here. And then it's gonna ask to restart again. Go ahead and hit enter. All right, this is where it's going to look different based on your computer. Now, the Lenovo's will look more like this. Um, also, the HP's will look really similar, and then um, but Asus, they'll look a lot different. It all depends basically on your motherboard, too. Some of them may have a different process. So you're either going to need to look into the boot or the security based on the type. Now, like I said, I already disabled it. So you're going to hit Secure Boot, hit Enter, and then disable it. Some of them you may hit over on the arrow keys, and then you'll... Um, be done. Go over to exit or if you do how to hit escape and save your changes as you leave. Alright, it'll bring you up to your startup page. You can just go ahead and insert your password to log in. 
All right, and then it's going to bring you up to this page. This is where you're going to need to bring up PowerShell. Now, you still can use the other one, but I recommend going straight through PowerShell. It has a little more advanced administrative privileges for this, and for some users, I found out that it had some issues with it. So we're going to go ahead and use PowerShell. All right, so we're going to right-click on the Windows Startup, and then... Hit Windows PowerShell Admin. It's going to bring up this blue version of Command Prop, basically. And I have the code right here. It'll be in the description. Oh, I didn't save. How lovely. Okay, hang on one second. All right, there we go. So this is going to be how you're going to disable it within PowerShell. You don't type in AXE or anything like that. It automatically runs the program. The always on is going to be what it's default set at, or if you wanted to restart DEP, you can use this. I already have DEP disabled, so I'm going to go ahead and re-enable DEP so you guys can see how it works, and then re-disable DEP. And of course, you have to restart your computer again. So you type in the, you can actually just um, control V and they'll put the code in, or you can type it in um, straight as it goes. But it reads those, as you can see, the, the type of command will light up in yellow right there. So you can see exactly how it's popping up and how it uses it in this program. But that's basically what we're going to be using this for. And then as soon as that's typed in, you hit enter. And you'll get this little confirmation saying that the operation was completed sex successfully. If you don't disable security boot, it will say it's not allowed to because of the secure boot policy. And you, that is why we have to disable that. So I'm going to go ahead and return this off. And bam, the operation is completed successfully. So now DEP is disabled on my computer. I have to restart my computer and then I can launch Enter 2003. Simply exit out of the program. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I save this this time. Okay, and let's go ahead and restart. There we go. Now I'm going slow in this process, but the process in total should take you about three or four minutes, also depending on your computer speed. This is a rather new computer, so it's pretty fast. So let's just go ahead and... There we are. Now let's go ahead and launch Enter 2003, and it should work. And if not, it's because my Enter 2003 is bad. It's not installed. I dragged it over on my last hard drive. So I may have to play some fun just to actually get it to run properly. And I am going to reinstall this version of NR. It's from my Windows 7 computer. Oh, it may crash immediately. Coming to... Oh, there it goes. Okay, let's do the whole... Ooh, I beat it. All right. Now my controllers currently are set up for a controller, so let's go ahead and set it up for. Oh, that's right, not allowed. There we are. Okay. And this time it should work. If not, it's because mine is broken. I've tested this on the computer and it worked. Alrighty. And there we are. Alright, so that's how you do it on here for NR 2003 to get it running properly. Obviously, that's all you can change all that type of stuff. That's based off of um, the UI settings. And this is a very beta tested mod right now. It's um, 
the brand new Gen 6. You can find this on SRD if you really wanted to find it and play with it. Um, I hope you guys were able to get it to work for yourselves. And if you want to go ahead and check out my other videos, I have all kinds of other tutorials for Android 2003 as far as mods, tracks, UI settings, and actually getting the game for free. So this is JJ from 48 with another video on how to get it to work on your computer. And I'll be seeing you guys later on with hopefully some more tutorials. Thank you.